Helping a bit, doing a bit of the lineup because we knew like the owners and that. Hermit, Spoonie, Greg Stainer. Now... There was quite a few. Danny Foster, the Scott Bradleys, and the uh, Mikey B, Jason K, Daryl B's, Richie Fingers, and that's where the dream team was formed.
ended up going to work for a label called Sour, a very small kind of drum and bass label. I kind of followed my love for that music and took a smaller job at a smaller place. So I ended up engineering for them, doing sessions, uh, and then they teamed together with a pirate radio station called London Underground, uh, and they moved, they had started a second studio in Dalston in Kingston Road. Um, and part of my engineering kind of duties as an everyday engineer was kind of doing sessions with some of these guys who were pirate DJs on that station, which was Garage Station. So I suddenly was introduced to these guys coming in, bringing their record box, um, playing me all this garage stuff that I'd never really heard before, and me trying to kind of make records with them. So I started sampling little bits of that, trying to kind of copy the feel of garage records that I could hear. And I really got into it. I kind of suddenly found that I had an affinity for kind of making this music, suddenly there was space for me to like, suddenly I can play chords and um, do kind of melodic things, which I'd always tried to get into my drum and bass attempts at home, but they always got a little bit too musical. It was never kind of sparse and hard enough. And suddenly there was a bit of a revelation that suddenly I was like, wow, I'm really good at doing this. And um, it's something that I'm gonna be good at. So I kind of felt this affinity for it immediately. And then I think my style sort of, um, developed in a sort of unique-ish way because I had no knowledge of that music at all. I'd never grown up loving Garage and knowing a lot about these records. I literally was a guy in the studio kind of engineering and suddenly these sessions came in and it was my interpretation of what I was hearing. Um, so that's how I really got into Garage and then I started making a lot more records, a lot, uh, a lot of records with all these guys from um, London Underground, like kind of all the VIP lots, so like, you know, Ramsey and Fenn and, um, you know, Daryl B and Hermit and Danny Ward and um, Naughty Be Nice and uh, all these kind of early VIP records were the ones that, that was me kind of finding my sound in Garage. So that's really how I got into Garage. It was kind of through the studio um, and not so much kind of through knowing about the music. It's a crazy thing I want to see. It's a crazy thing I do to Love What's up then, Attitude family? Not long now until Saturday the 2nd of September where we take over 93 feet east for 30 years of Ramsey and Fenn. Look out for the Truman chimney. Have a look around inside the newly renovated courtyard. It looks absolutely sick in it. We have a monster lineup for you. Artful Dodger, Junior Wimross, Master Pasha, Matt Jam Lamont, Norris the Boss Wimross and MC Creed and Ramsey and Fenn. 
First release tickets are 90% sold out. Head over to Skiddle and Libet. Grab your tickets now. I'll see you on the dance floor.